Toast to our new adventure. May it be a very successful and profitable one. And not forgetting Summer, who put all this together. Crawler. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> to Summer. I didn't mean to say that. Yes, I did. All right, Summer, what is our plan for tomorrow? Early start. Uh, mm. Early start, be there. Our new investment. Yes, at our new investment, 8am sharp. We'll get it into shape, ready for the builders to come and finish it off. And then sell it for a massive profit. Hopefully a profit. Don't worry, you've got faith in your vision. It'll be fine. I just wish um, someone came with me and went to view it. Don't worry about it. You needed to move quickly, otherwise we would have missed out on this bargain. Yeah, it's a bargain. That house, that price, and that size. Well, let's hope that it's not built on some sort of ancient burial ground. <laughs> what could go wrong? I suppose. But bring your work clothes, because it's going to get messy. Right, come on, drink up. Let's get another round in before last orders. I said an early start. Yeah, it'll be fine. No, I think someone's right. Oh, come on, let's celebrate. Me. There's nearly wet fight. <laughs> there have already been many of those. Oh. Honey, let's celebrate now because this weekend is going to be hard work. Yeah, I guess. Hard work partying.
Yeah, but... It'll be fine. Look, if it's in the same state as it was when we first saw it, working on it for a couple of hours at least, it'll definitely increase its value. Yeah, I suppose. It's okay, it's only life savings and dreams that's at stake. You don't get it, do you? What? You, Jenny, Beth, Chris and even Lee have come from money. Yeah, but we... No, it's true. I know, but... No, to you lot, this is a hobby, but to me, this is my dream. I know, but... Who's that? A man in a mask. Yeah. Glad you saw it. I was having my doubts. What the hell is he doing? Being a prize dickhead. I suppose at least he's walking in the opposite direction. Oh, they'll be here. I know, I bet Jenny's given up on this little hobby already. Meow. Oh, they're here. Well, it looks a lot better in the photos. It did. Structurally, it is sound. In that case, it's a good investment, right? Right. Just need to lick a pain. Sank her a pain. Shut up, Lee. Do you want to have a look around inside? Oh, wait. There. Got it the other day, and I thought it would look nice. You know, make it a bit more homely. Come on, it's probably easier if I show you in through the back door. start downstairs first. Uh, these are the back stairs up. This is the downstairs loo and shower. This is just a small storeroom at the moment. There's electricity. I managed to sweet talk the electric company to reconnect with us. Oh sweet. Yeah. Ah, but don't worry. I've got candles and matches just to be on the safe side. And this would make a great study, library, office. Just imagine sitting in a big comfy chair next to the fire with a good book. This is strange. What? This stuff wasn't here before. Squatters. Shit, I hope not. Nice room, though. Is it the living room? Yeah, I think so. I think can we paint in warmer tones? Maybe... Why not a nice half white? No, I was thinking because of the fireplace and low ceilings, it would add to it being really cosy. Right. Sounds good. What's through there? Ah, oh, that's the kitchen. I've also sweet-talked to their water board in to get us reconnected. Not now pooing in a bucket for us, then. This isn't bad, considering. Mm. It's a bit small, but workable, I think. But it does have running gas to it. It doesn't have a walk-in oven. Another expense. 
What's back there? Oh, that's just a small storeroom at the moment. I think it would make a perfect larder. Put in another larder. Thanks for that info, Chris. You are most welcome. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long to make it look respectable, too. Nice. What's next? Upstairs? I do not fancy falling down these. Or walking up and down them either. <laughs> Jesus. This is a lovely space. Yeah. Dibs. Some view of that. Master bedroom? Mm hmm? That's what I thought. The old calf muscles are a good workout, aren't we? You need that. Fuck off, do I? I thought this would make a perfect kids' room. Chris can have this one. Think of my room at home. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's the attic. It's a little unsteady at the moment, so I have to get someone in to sort that out. This is the glass bedroom. Not a bad size, but with a fantastic view. Nice. That's it. What does everyone think? I'm glad I brought my work clothes. There is a lot to do. Yeah, it's all doable. Great. Let's go and unpack the cars and get started. <laughs> right, so if we start on the bedrooms first, then they'll be ready for tonight, and then we can... Uh, but before all that, I think we should have a toast. Or two, or three. Wow, one. We will see. One, then work. All right, but tonight I make no promises. Good compromise. To a lot of hard work. To so a lot, lot of hard, hard work. work. Did hurt? No, I'm all right, thanks. What do you want me to put these? Um, can you just stick them in the corner for now and I'll sort them out in a bit? Thank you. Oh, you know what problem I did find? What's that? Phone coverage in 3G is practically non-existent out here. How are the others getting on in the other rooms? Beth's turfed out a small bedroom, uh, Chris is downstairs in the kitchen, and Lee and Jenny, I don't know. Probably chilling somewhere, drinking more champagne. Hey, lighten up. They want this to work just as much as you do, you know. I doubt that very much. Come on. Let them have a drink tonight. There'll be no escape from the work tomorrow. I guess. Right. What else do you need? Um, would you better go downstairs and maybe get like a bucket of warm soapy water with a cloth? That'd be great. Thank you.
Looking good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that doesn't look like a nice cup of tea. It's a nice cup of something. Jen, come on. We're all working. And we think that, well, I think you need to relax a little. If you relax, then everyone else will relax. And tomorrow we'll be raring to go. Raring to go, eh? Everyone except Lee. Cross my heart. Cross your heart, eh? Who is? Jen, I really need this to work. It will. I'll make it work. By the end of this weekend, it'll be ten times better. Fine. Thank you. Hard at work, I see. Subtle guys, very subtle. Got really early start in the morning. I expect nothing less. One more won't hurt. Thank you. One more of this crap might hurt the taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> you can judge when you bring your own booze. I did bring my own. Huh? It's in the car. Sit to me down there. It's not good out there, numb nuts. Well, you should drink your shit first, Mr. Moneybag. <laughs> Cheeky swag. Go get it. You want to, um, lock the front door on your way in? This is literally the oldest key I've ever seen. Yeah, I think we're going to need to change the locks. Let's add it to the list. They're going to struggle getting up in the morning. Mm. Promise me you set the alarm. I set the alarm. Nice and early. Early? I don't know if it's that nice. <sighs> Nothing's going to stop me getting this place ready in the morning.
get out of your lazy git. Time to get some real work done. So what do you need me to do next? Um, have you finished your bathroom? It is sparkling. Ish. <laughs> Legend. No props, so what's next? Uh, well, do you want to take over here? And I can start on the windows outside. Uh, sure. <laughs> Hello. Where have you been? Breakfast. That took a while. That was a queue. Must have been some queue. It was, and hey. I don't... I bought you something called the special. I don't know what's in it. it. Smells amazing. Come on, let's eat these, and then I'll come up here and give you... Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> oh dear, man, I needed that. That was a good call, Jenny and Lee. It was all Lee. Right, back to it then. Lee, come over and take that junk to the garden. You mean until I'm a Fuku town, mate? Come on, you bugger lugs, let's do this. I left my phone in the car. Can you go and get it? Tea break. One more trip. And then you can bring me out a nice old grey. Hello there. Hi, can we help you? I'm Stuart Howie, Detective Inspector Stuart Howie. Buzz, what's going on? Hopefully nothing. I just need to ask you all some questions. Sure. Are there just the three of you here? There's three more of us inside. Would you mind going and getting them, please? Yeah, sure. So you bought this place, have you? Yeah. Have your work cut out doing this up? I don't mind a bit of hard work. I'm rubbish at this sort of stuff, but my ex-wife, well, she's a dab hand at the old DIY game. I can't even hold a paintbrush the right way around. Hello. Hello. What's this all about? I'm guessing you all know the history of the property. Maybe for all those of us in that don't know. Right. Ah. Oh. Uh, before I do that, uh, can I ask you, have any of you seen these two men recently? Uh, mainly this guy. I haven't seen them now. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? What's this about? Do they not disclose the history of a property when selling it? Let's pretend we don't know. Well, 
this guy with the darker hair, that's Paul Robbie. He used to live here with his family about two years ago. He came home from work one night and for no rhyme or reason, he butchered his mother, father, and two brothers with a very large hunting knife. Jesus. Oh my God. What happened to him? He was caught about two miles away, trying to break into his nearest neighbors where he intended on killing them too. Luckily, they were out. When they came back, they found him trying to break into an open bedroom window and called us. This happened right here? Yes. And the reason you're here is? He escaped from the Cherry Tree Mental Hospital two days ago. This gets better and better. So, who's the other guy then? That's David Grove. He's a convicted stalker. He attached himself to Robbie in the hospital. Barely uttered a word to anyone, but hung off every single word that Robbie spoke. And from what I hear, Robbie used to enjoy telling him time and time again what he did that night. Sounds like the guy that used to live here was a real piece of work. He was. Showed no remorse or guilt for what he'd done. I severely doubt he'll come back here. We have people out looking for him. He'll turn up sooner rather than later. If he does show up, well, shall we do? Do not approach him. Call either me or the police. No, don't worry. I'm sure he's miles away from here. I don't believe this. No wonder this place was such a fucking bargain. Four fucking people died here. Did you know about this? Yes. Of course she did. She sorted all the paperwork out. Yeah, she did sort all the paperwork out, didn't she, Lee? What do you mean by that? I mean, she sorted out all the paperwork, and at any point in the process, you could have taken over. He has a point. You better rest your suck up. But it does have a point. Not you two. What did she just do all the organising for this? Okay, sure, but don't you think this is the kind of information we should have found out before we forked over the cash? Yeah, it's kind of important. I'm sorry. I just don't know what you want me to say. By the time we would have discussed it, we would have missed out, so I made the call. Yeah, the wrong call. I want out. You can't. I can and I will. Honey. Look, this is fucked up and you know it. Come on, mate. I'm going. If anyone needs me, I'll be checked into the nearest hotel. You're staying, I imagine. I think you're overreacting a bit. Yeah, but probably not tonight. He'll be getting blind drunk or something. No point arguing with him when he gets like this. Just have to let him get it out of his system. 
I'm so, so sorry. I made a call and it turned out to be a bad one. Well, you didn't know some madman was going to escape from a mental hospital. But telling us the history of this place before we committed would have been the right thing to do. And would you have put your money in if I would have told you the history of this place? No. No, I wouldn't. Hi, Robert. Yeah, uh, I was just going to call you. No. No, look at this place. They've got new owners. Yeah, I'm going over to David Grove's last residence next. Then I might swing back here. No, I, I just need to. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Same to you. No one. Now as well. No, of course not. Then what? Do you think what? That, do you think that guy we saw the other night could have been the previous owner of this place? Completely forgot about him. I mean, if it's the timeline, it's escaped him. But why didn't you tell the police? I didn't want to get you in any more trouble with the others. Oh, Eddie, that is not the bloody point. He could come back here. He was going in the opposite direction. Besides, if he turned back, we would have seen him by now. That doesn't make me feel any better. Slam the door. No, I was in here tidying up. What happened? No, nothing. Don't worry. Look, I'm gonna get back to cleaning the windows. Let's just get this place tidied up and got rid of as soon as possible. Sounds like a plan. Have you heard from Lee? No reception in this place. Besides. He wouldn't call until he calms down. You okay? I'm fine, I guess. I just don't know how to feel about the whole thing. I mean, I get why she did it. The fact that the guy escaped really freaks me out. Yeah, I know. This whole thing would be a whole lot easier to swallow if she told us about it beforehand. But someone was just following her dream, just seeing it and focusing on it. Yes. Tomorrow Lee will come back and I'll, I'll get him to take you home. No, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Come on. Let's go back downstairs and help the others out. No, I think I need a lie down. Just to clear my head. Okay, yeah, good idea. I'll bring you a cup of tea later.
what's the plan? I think uh, we'll keep going tonight and then look at leaving tomorrow. Is Beth okay? I think so. Just needs to lie down. I could do with one of those. Hey. I need to show you something. Oh, my God. Where is he? Shit. What? Still got his car key. So where's he gone? He wouldn't have walked with us. Not a fucking chance. Does he have a spare key? This is his spare key. He lost his other one a month ago. If he didn't come back into the house, we'd have seen it. There's a shed thing at the bottom of the garden. I don't think he would have gone in there to calm down. I doubt it, but let's look anyway. Where the hell is he? OK. I'll head up the road and see if I can find him. You lot check out the house. Be careful, yeah? I might get reception and that. I'll call his mobile. Right. I'll look downstairs. You two look upstairs, yeah? Jesus, you two are like ninja quiet. What do we do now? Wait for Chris to come back, see if he's had any luck. Jenny, has he ever done anything like this before? No, never. I mean, 
He's headstrong and a stubborn bastard at times, but he wouldn't just disappear like this, especially without his car. Look, I'm sure he's fine. I bet he's marched into the nearest place with reception to call the cab. Chris will get hold of him, and I bet he'll be back tomorrow with his tail between his legs. That and a massive hangover. Yeah. No reception. Shall I um, add that to the list of things wrong with this place? I'll go and stick together. I'm sorry. I couldn't find him. Once I finally got reception, I left dozens of messages. It started getting dark, so I came back here. Well, at least you tried, mate. I think it's time we left. I fucking agreed. Let's just go and get our stuff, go and wake Beth up. We can all squeeze into Ellie's car, and I'm sure we'll meet Lee on the way to civilization. Yeah. Okay, come on, let's do it. I'll get there. Bear, honey, time to get up. We're leaving. Beth? Beth, are you okay? Oh, is it locked? I don't understand. I left the key in the door. Are you sure? Of course. Who has it? Not me. What's going on? You could have done that to Beth. Be Lee with it. Are you kidding, right? Well, I don't know. It's not me. Get out of here now. Back door. Let's go. Ah! Oh, fuck. Is everyone all right? What the fuck is going on? Jenny, no! Jenny, no! Stairs again? He appears there. He's too quick. Sorry, I panicked. Who's that out there? No idea. What's with the numbers? I don't know and I don't care. We have to get out of here.
think it's going to need a couple of stitches. Take the first aid point from the kitchen. I suppose this is just going to have to do. <clears throat> Keep it pressed down. <sighs> we have to get out of here. How? Well, one of us. I guess me. I have to go downstairs, break open a window. Try and find a place with reception and call the police. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, we can't stay here. You know, he's gonna find a way in and break down this fucking ancient door somehow. I'll go. Chris, you wouldn't get two feet. I'm... I don't know. Trust me, I don't want to go. We don't have any other option. Let me break down this. Lock it back up when I'm gone. I love you.
Can you hear me? It's Eddie from the psycho's house. The guy bought the house. The killer's back. He's killed my friends. Please, please help us. Can you? I can barely hear you. Hello? Hello? Shit. No. How long do you think it would take? What? Help to arrive. How long do you think it would take? Figure. Fifteen minutes to get somewhere with a signal and half an hour for them to get here. Got to be about now. I'll be fine. You're definitely not fine. I feel a little woozy. Because of the loss of blood. We need to get you medical attention right now. You do know I was just three minutes away from finishing the night shift. Let's just concentrate on what we're doing, will you? My coffee's arriving soon, right? I hope so.
five. Because? Well, okay then. How's this? I wanted to beat Paul's record number of kills here in this house. Paul got four kills. I beat him. <laughs> Your friends were just the numbers I needed to get me the record. Paul was first, obviously, prick. Your bearded friend was number two. Sleeping Bad Girl was number three. Downstairs in the hallway, number four. But it was your boyfriend, Summer, that got me the record. So she just engaged you! Look, I shared a cell with that sick fuck for 18 months. He wouldn't shut the fuck up. Just kept going on and on and on and over and over about everything that he did here. in my head over and over and over my fuck you get in but you might have been feeling this now I see <laughs>
Robbie go down in the street. You are nothing more than a footnote. No! Ah!